Benches can mean different things to different people. They are used to rest on, read on, reflect on, cry on, to remember on and to make promises on. To me in the past year or so, they have meant all of these. Losing your job is one of the worst things that can happen to anyone. When it happened to me, it led me into an unknown world of bankruptcy, house repossession and depression. A feeling of such worthlessness that at my lowest point I would only leave my house in the dark. I was ashamed and embarrassed. My worst fear was, what would I say if I met someone? My one saving grace was that just before being made redundant I had got a dog. And as she got older, going round the block in the dark was not enough. So gradually I would take her on longer walks, still at random times of the day, with my eyes firmly focused on the path, in the hope I wouldn't meet anyone. Without even realising it one day, I stopped looking down and looked up. There was no flash of lightning, no choir of angels. It wasn't even a really nice day. I will never be able to explain it, it just happened. From then on, every time I went out for a walk, I took my camera, and instead of sitting on the benches, I would take pictures of them. As the weeks went by, not only was I taking pictures of benches, I also found myself making up stories about them. I stumbled across a bench that had been placed in memory of a prisoner of war, who had settled in Melksham and had also come to love the canal. I would imagine him walking along all those years ago with his dogs, According to the plaque, he'd had two Jack Russells. Had he reflected on his past life, had he sat on the edge of the canal path on a beautiful Wiltshire morning and suddenly realised that life wasn't all that bad? I'm happy to say that life is gradually beginning to improve for me now. Now when I walk along the canal, it is with happy thoughts, exciting thoughts. I still take pictures of my beloved canal and its inspiring benches. But instead of being on my own, I am now generally with family or friends. Just last weekend, I visited my son in my old hometown of Basingstoke, only to come across a bench that had a personal meaning to myself and my family, and another with even greater meaning to my son. Comfort means different things to different people. I have found comfort while walking along the canal, while sat on other people's benches. I used to say that when I died, I would like to be a tree. Now I think I would like to be a bench placed right on the side of the canal.